In last week's episode, I took you on a tour of my new to me 1990 Compact 23D. I've had a chance to do a bit more exploring on the boat, lifting up hatches under the cushions, taking a look at the engine, examining sails, and a whole lot more. So come join me and I'll show you the ins and outs of my new boat. Okay, hope you enjoy today's episode. So I'm here at the boat and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start unloading the items like sails and other uh, equipment. Um, I wanna get it out of the boat so that I can see what I have. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop everything over the side into my truck. You can see that I just pulled this nest off here and there's some pupa or something inside of it. And then there was this other nest here it was on the side of the cushion right there. I just got a bucket of some soapy dish detergent water and some paper towels. I'm gonna try to scrub this off and clean it up a little bit. I'm a little scared to look to see what's underneath there, but I probably should, huh? Make sure there's nothing else going on here. Oh, cool, see how these, these actually zip off right on. Okay, moment of truth. I do not know what this is. Oh, you know what I bet that is? I bet that's the boom tent. Uh, okay, let's take a look in this one. And there's a through hole, which I need to, actually two through holes. Actually, I think, uh, that looks pretty, pretty good. I could use some spick and span on these and clean them down really good, which I'll do probably a little later. But for now, at least I wanted to see what was going on under there. Well, here I am finally actually sitting on the settee with all the stuff out of it. <laughs> Yay! It's starting to feel more like a, uh, like it's my boat. <laughs> okay. So I just removed the other starboard settee cushion that goes, actually connects into the quarter berth in the back. Let's see what's under door number three. Some sort of wiring for electrical, it looks like. Yep, yeah, there we go. Hey, guess what? I think this is access to the engine. I realized that I had to twist the handle and then it would open. And guess what's there? You probably can't see lickety, lickety split in here. Um, but that's the engine, folks. In my other video, I mentioned that the engine only has 377 hours on it. And this engine is from 1990. So that is really low hours. I just discovered this little interesting hidden treasure, little uh, mirror and another area to store things and some more electrical pushes out and then there's access to my instrumentation there the second owner of this boat he wrote for good old boat magazine he he actually refit this boat for coastal cruising he uh, did a lot of these modifications that I was showing you in my tour video the whole galley area he did and the installation of the chart table that slides out, all of that he did. Uh, I'm pretty sure he did all these custom cabinets and and the drawers and, and the electrical. I just did some more discovering here on the port side uh, in the quarter berth area. It looks like I have this, this is my water tank here. And if you look through here, looks like that must maybe be a way to prime it. And here back on the port side, uh, I undid this and this storage locker here, look, I got my little paper towel holder right there going on and more shelving space. Sweating up a storm here. It's 85% humidity. It's not pleasant. Here's what I got it so looking like so far here. And much better than it was, right? As on the starboard side, the port side also has access to the engine here. You lift that up and you turn it and then it comes off. And 
There's my engine. Look at these awesome screen hatches. Aren't these beautiful? So pretty. There's this, there's the stay for the staysail and uh, the anchor chain. The people that designed this boat are so smart. Look at this. You can lift this hatch up and then I can attach it here so it doesn't fall on my head when I'm trying to see what the heck is inside of here. More hoses. And I'm thinking that's the holding tank, you guys, because the head is right here underneath me. And that is up to the deck. So that is where you pump off and see. That must mean when you overcharge, overcharge, when you send your head contents overboard, I'm guessing, and when it gets pumped out on deck and then off. Let's look under here. Oh, dag nabbit. Look what I found. Yep, another one. This must be where the head is, or the tank. And there's the tank. Mm -hmm. And hoses. There's the port or the head. And then under this cushion on the port side of the V berth. Looks like a through hole. Oh, but there's a hole in my screen for my forward hatch, so I'm gonna need to fix that. So let's quickly look under here. And voila, through hole seacocks. Looks like they're all off because they are perpendicular to the lines. And the lines actually all look pretty good. I also discovered my bilge pump here. Guess what else I found? Another nest. I've done some cleaning inside to get rid of mostly the mud dauber nests. As I promised, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the diesel engine from the front. We saw it from the port side, the starboard side, and those access hatches. And now I'm gonna see if I can access it from the front. As I talked about earlier, this is a seat that folds down so that you can use the chart table. I need to undo these. Then I need to undo that and undo that. As I try to undo these, and I feel like I see some more mud here. Ugh, you've gotta be kidding me. Honestly, guys, I'm a little scared about what I'm gonna find when I open up this hatch to the front of the diesel engine. I just cleaned everything out. You can see now it's gone. And I got rid of the other one. I'm really nervous about what's gonna happen when I open this up. The engine at last. Look at how beautiful that engine is. Look at how nice and neat all the wiring is. I wanna show you what the boat looks like now that I've cleaned, well, I've cleared things out um, because I'm gonna put things in storage so that I can get in here and clean. Let's take a look at what the boat looks like now with the cushions and everything in place. I'm so excited kind of try to back up so you can see and appreciate a bit more the beautiful wood and the gear hammocks and my brass port lights and my beautiful bulkheads teak wooden bulkheads and again coming this way moving forward you can see I've got the port side of the tee all nice and ready to go well it's for now and then moving over to starboard pretty nice, huh? Gives a better idea. Much better idea. I brought all the stuff in my truck up to my house and I wanted to take a look at the mainsail because when I pulled it out of the V-berth, there was a wasp nest near it. So I was concerned there could be a wasp nest inside of it. So I just unfolded it. I'm thinking this could have been uh, where a mud dauber nest was. Yeah, cause see how that's coming off like that? 
Uh, that could have been something there at one point in time, maybe. Here's something here too. Here's what we have. The sail looks looks all right, I think. I noticed that this is different from how Sunny is rigged. This is not a loose footed main. It has a, a core or a, a, oh, I can't remember what these are called, but it'll feed into the boom. And uh, here's my out haul, uh, the clue and the tack and all my sail slugs. This is the same kind of turnbuckle that Sunny has. I've got one, two sets of reef points, which is awesome. Love it. Not a full batten main. The three is for Mark III, uh, Compact 23, and it's actually Compact 23D for the diesel. Uh, and yeah, here's the head of the sail. So I'm going to flip it over just to check to make sure that the other side's good to go. I hope you enjoyed this video showing you some more features of my new to me 1990 Compact 23. Talk to you next time. Fair winds. Ooh.